to generate roads procedurally, let's go to the asset library and search for road generator. Uh, you can just find it here in the main page. Now I'll click on it and hit the download button. After a while, it'll just get downloaded instantly actually. It's a couple of hundred kilobytes and yeah, it's downloaded and hit install to install the app. Now when you see this pop up, click OK. Now navigate back to the 3D scene, go to project, project settings and plugins, enable the plugin here. Now you have the plugin up and running. Now to create our procedural roads, let's create a new 3D scene. In the 3 scene add a road manager node. You can find it here and create a road manager node. You can see this plus icon which lets you create a node called the road container. Click anywhere to create it. I'll just click here in the middle. You can actually manually add it using the node menu by clicking Ctrl A on the road manager. You can find it right here. But I'll just add it through the plus button. It's more convenient there. Now you select the road container and go to its plus button. Now it let, lets you add a node called a uh, point, road point node. Uh, it's the simple way it works. You add two points just like a polygon and a road is created between them. Just like that. Uh, you can change the textures on the road container here there. if you want to change the texture of this road that can be done by going to the road container there now you just don't mess up with these gizmos they really don't do anything the real thing that work here are the gizmos on the side these blue gizmos actually do all the magic now click on any of these side panels to increase or decrease the size you can scroll them left and right to increase and decrease the size uh, keep in mind that this could let lead to some crashes if you're working on a really really old hardware just like mine and here comes a crash okay after the crash i'm back and it's still working uh, i'm gonna just you should save your scene to save yourself from crash you can add the ease plus to add more polygon points just like you add to polygon and you can manipulate the shape by moving these points you can rotate them or you can change the position horizontally or vertically like i can change it like that to create vertical roads and i can rotate it however i want like that to create this kind of crazy shape or maybe a racing thingy and if you want to just randomly create a long track this you can just snap spam these things and points cannot be added on a existing like lane so you can only add points elsewhere you cannot click on the lane to add a point on top of it now you can cut these points using these cross and you can see there's a gizmo appearing here now now that all of that is gone, actually I made a mistake here. Okay, now, now uh, you see this little warning here. It asks you to refresh your roads. You can click that road icon on the road container and refresh here. Make sure to do that to make it work properly. Now you can add a road lane node. It lets you create a navigation inside the road generation. Uh, I'm really not an expert on this topic, but uh, let me just explain simply. You add, uh, you refresh this vertices first because they can get some mess. Uh, you have the car or anything you want to move in on, on it, and you add a uh, road navigation agent, agent on it. It's like the navigation agent and stuff like that. Uh, you add a lane, and just like those polygons, you can draw polygons. You got these other options here to move. It, remove it and things like that and you add these points like that and rest works like the simple navigation system uh, you can find the docs in the description uh, to be honest I was really wasn't able to figure figure it out too much but it's supposed to be simple and <laughs> I can't really get the hang of it here so yeah 
that's it for today's video and if you enjoyed this video leave a like or something and goodbye